Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today I'm here to tell you a little bit about the full product range of ECUs that we sell. So let's start at the entry level. We have our Sprint Series ECU. So we have a Sprint 500, four-cylinder ECU, and a Sprint RE, specifically for two rotor engines. These ECUs control fuel, ignition, boost, uh, taco and thermofan. And that's about it. They're really designed just to run the engine. So they're great for engine conversions, engine swaps, uh, setups on street vehicles where you really just want to put one engine into another vehicle and run fuel and ignition and, and drive the car around. Not the greatest thing for a racing application, but very, very practical and very good and an entry level for a street vehicle. Then we move up to our Sport Series ECU. We'll start with the Sport 1000 ECU. That's four fuel, four ignition, fully programmable. This ECU does data logging, where the Sprint does not. This ECU does full closed loop boost control, where the Sprint does not. This ECU has a lot more features and functions, things like two-step launch control, anti-lag control, um, programmable inputs, programmable outputs. You've got a lot more inputs and outputs on this box than over the Sprint series ECUs. So the Sport 1000 ECU is really aimed at high performance four cylinder vehicles and high performance racing vehicles with four cylinder engines. Then we've got the Sport 2000 ECU. Same family of ECU as the Sport 1000, but it has more fuel and ignition outputs. So the Sport 2000 has 14 fuel and ignition outputs. So that allows you to do an eight cylinder engine with direct fire ignition and semi-sequential injection. Both the Sport 1000 and 2000 allow you to do high and low impedance injectors. Uh, Sport 2000 also has the ability to do uh, closed loop boost control, anti-lag, uh, two-step, uh, nitrous control, all the features you come to expect from a Haltech ECU in a fully programmable package. Next we have the Elite Series ECU. So let's start with the 1500. This is the four fuel, four ignition output, four cylinder version of the Elite Series ECU. So the Elite Series ECU is for more modern vehicles with drive-by-wire throttle and race cars. The Elite 1500 allows you to do four fuel, four ignition, a single drive-by-wire throttle. The Elite ECU also has not control. It has long-term learning, long-term fuel trim long-term ignition trim. Um, the Elite ECUs also allow you to do fully customizable maps. So you can create your own set of maps. You can create your own inputs, create your own outputs, and do whatever you like with the mapping. Whereas with the Sport ECU, you have to use the set of predefined maps that are in the ECU. Next, we step up to the big daddy, the Elite 2500 ECU. So this ECU does eight fuel, eight ignition outputs. It has drive-by-wire control, dual knock control, long-term fuel trim, long-term ignition trim, um, full closed loop control, it has uh, full nitrous control, all the features you would come to expect from the top of the range ECU. It also allows you to have fully programmable inputs, fully programmable outputs, you can create your own maps, create your own custom tuning strategies, 3D trims, 4D trims, 4D tuning tables. The Elite 2500 is the top of the range product for Haltech at the moment. And finally, we have our Pro plug-in range of ECUs. Now, the Pro plug-in range of ECUs is a little bit different to all of the other ECUs that we produce because they plug directly into the factory wiring harness. So these will go into your OEM wiring connection that you already have in your vehicle for the specific vehicle that this ECU is tailored for, as opposed to the Elite ECUs and the Platinum Series ECUs, which are a unterminated or a universal ECU that then has to be wired into your application. So obviously we have to have a whole bunch of these Pro Plug-in ECUs to cover all the different vehicles. So we have Pro Plug-in ECUs for Chevy Camaro, Firebird, Corvette, Holden Commodore, VN through to VP, Nissan Skyline, R32, R33, R34, uh, Nissan 300ZX, Z32, and the Z33 350. We have Nissan Patrol Y61, Nissan Silvia S15, Subaru WRX, Hyundai Genesis, Honda Integra DC5, Honda S2000, Honda Civics, and Mitsubishi Evo 9. <sighs> so as you can see, we have quite a few direct plug-in ECUs, probably one for your specific application. 
Now, one question we also get a lot of is, well, which of your ECUs can we use the Howtech Race Pack dash with? Well, the short answer is all of these products here will talk directly to the Howtech Race Pack dash. Another question that we get is, what's the big difference between the new Elite Series ECU and the older Platinum Series ECU? So if I look at, say, the Platinum Sport 1000 versus the new Elite 1500, they're both four-cylinder ECUs. Why, why is the Elite better than the 1000? Well, the answer to that is technology. It's newness. The Elite Series ECU has a newer, faster, more powerful processor. It can do knock control. It can do closed loop uh, O2 control with long-term and short-term learning. Uh, it can do more advanced functions. So the Elite ECU allows you to do anything you want it to do. You can fully customize any of the, of the programming maps. So for example, you may want to do um, a full 4D tune on the ignition map, uh, have a different ignition map for every gear, or a different fuel map per uh, road speed, or you may want to have uh, a different boost map based on what fuel you're running, or cam position, or any number of functions, anything that the ECU knows, uh, whether it be from a sensor or for something that's calculated, that information can be used to tune any part of the engine or any part of the map. Another difference between the Elite Series ECUs and the Platinum Series ECU is with the 2500 versus the 2000. The new Elite 2500 has eight fuel and eight ignition outputs. That allows it to do full sequential injection with direct fire ignition on a V8 engine. Whereas the Sport 2000 ECU only has 14 fuel and ignition outputs, so it can't do full sequential with direct fire in a V8. Uh, of course, the ability of both of the Elite ECUs to do drive-by-wire throttle control is something that the Sport ECUs cannot do. Another major difference between the Elite Series ECUs and all the previous Platinum Series ECUs is the case. Now, obviously it looks different, but it's environmentally sealed. It's waterproof, it's dustproof, it's almost bombproof. So the Elite Series ECUs can be used in off-road vehicles, they can be used in marine applications where the Platinum Series ECUs could never be used in those situations. Well, there you have it. That's a broad overview of the whole range of ECUs that Howtech currently have on the market. If you have any further questions, please put them in the comments section below. I'm Matt from Howtech, and I'll see you next time.